Hey everybody, Bob Ostrom here from BobTeachesArt.com and today we're going to take a look at one of my favorite programs, Adobe InDesign. Now I've got a neat little trick here that's going to save you lots of time and make things a lot easier as you move forward. So today we're going to take a look at object styles. Well, first thing that we need to do is we need to grab the object styles menu that lives underneath window. If we scroll down to styles, you can see object styles is right here. I've already got it in my sidebar here, so I'm just going to go ahead and click on this pull this away and bring this out. So I've gone ahead and created a object style that I'm going to use uh, just for a little quick demo here and then I'm going to show you how I created it so you can create one of your very own. So I've got these um, these little pieces of stock art that I dropped into my uh, image down here and by the way these are uh, from the Adobe stock site I, I love that site it's just really fun to work with and very very easy when it comes to uh, placing images inside these Adobe programs but anyways uh, here we've got this um, this style that I've created and it's going to help these uh, little guys stand out a little bit because you can see from the background they're kind of similar the colors are similar and they're not really jumping forward maybe except for this guy on the end here but I want them all to kind of pop so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to throw in a little drop shadow throw a stroke around them. I've already uh, saved up both of those things inside my object styles. So all I need to do now is select whichever one of these I want, or all of them for that matter, and go ahead and just click on uh, this little um, object style right here. And you can see that it applies the stroke and the drop shadow to that picture. If I, want to if I want to apply it to the rest of them, all I need to do is go ahead and select those. By holding down the shift key, I can select all three of them. And then I hit the frame stroke drop shadow again, and it pops in the drop shadow for all these guys. So what is that thing? How did I build that? Let's take a quick look at that. I'm going to just um, take that effect off of these guys. And I'm going to go ahead and first thing I want to do is just apply the effect to a single one of these objects here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this guy. We're going to go up underneath uh, stroke. I'm going to throw a white stroke around it. Uh, then the next thing I want to do is just throw a little drop shadow underneath there. So let's find drop shadows underneath effects. There's drop shadow right there looks pretty good. I'm just going to use the default inside of Adobe. We'll say OK. And now that I've got these effects applied to this photo, all I need to do is select this, go to my Object Styles menu, create a new object style. We're going to go ahead and name this one. We'll call this one Drop Shadow 2 so it's easy to find. We'll say OK. And now that I've got that in there, all I need to do is to select any one of these, or again, all three of them. Click on Drop Shadow 2, and you can see that it applies that effect to all three of these guys. Now, here's the really cool part. Uh, what we can do is, if we have a object style and we want to change that style a little bit, let's say that we decided that, oh, I don't know, maybe the stroke around these wasn't heavy enough. We want to make it a little bit thicker. Simple to do. All we need to do is pop open our Drop Shadow uh, style effect here, this object styles. And what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to select stroke from my menu here. Up pops the stroke panel here. And what I want to do is I'm going to go to uh, my stroke weight here and I'm going to just increase that. And you can see I've got the preview button selected. So when it starts to happen out here, I can actually see what's happening here. And I'm just going to pop this up. Let's move this over to the side just a little so you can see it. I'm going to pop this up to a two point stroke and you can see that it automatically applies that to each of the photos. I think that looks a lot better. So there you have it. That's how you go ahead and use object styles. Hope that helps you. If you like this and you want to see more of this kind of thing, come join me over at bobteachesart.com. See you real soon.